you welcome back now next operation next operation that's performed this operation that's performed on these discrete time signal processing and this operation is performed on the independent variable independent variable of this signal is let's discuss the time reversal operation time reversal operation or this is sometimes called folding of signal or this is sometimes also called reflection of signal sometimes this is referred as reflection of the signal all right now as the name suggests if x n is my sequence if f of n is our sequence now we replace n by minus n this means time reverse operation we simply put n equal to minus n and we obtain a sequence that is called x of minus n and let's call this sequence as y of n for illustration let's call it y of n now let me take an example of this x of n and let's suppose my x to illustrate this operation this time reversal operation of the sequences or signal let me use an example of x of n something like this let's suppose my sequence is uh, zero now one and two let's suppose these are the values of the sequence when n is zero one and two and at n equal to three the value is zero similarly values at n equal to minus one is one similarly the value of at n equal to minus two is one and the rest of the samples are zero please i'm not drawing these values by using the scale you can i'm just using the rough approximation of the values just for illustration purpose now let's uh, obtain the signal y of n which is defined as x of minus n so how do we do that we'll start substituting the values of n and obtain the values of y of n so y of n when n is zero this is simply as y of zero y of zero which is same as x of minus n when n is zero this is equal to x of zero because x of minus zero is zero now x of zero is zero from here you can check it so this is zero similarly y of n when n is equal to one this is same as y of one that means x of minus n when n is equal to one this is equal to x of uh, one and x of one is one now y of one n when n is equal to 2 this is y of 2 simply and that's equal to x of minus n when n is minus 2 so that same as minus 2 and this is equal to 2 and y of 3 y of 4 and so on these values are all zero you can check it from the given sequence now y when n takes negative value so y of n when n is equal to minus one, this is same as y of minus one. That is x of minus n when n becomes minus one. When n is minus one, this is x of minus one minus 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 one. So that is x of one simply. So this is the value of this. I think I did it wrong here. So sorry, this is wrong here. X of this is x of minus one, not one. This is x of minus one. I'm sorry about this. This is x of minus one, and x of minus one is one. Now, similarly, this is x of minus two, and x of minus two is not two but one. And you can check it from the signal x one. Yes, I'm sorry about this. Now, let's compute the value of y of minus one. Now, y of minus one is same as x of one, and x of one is one. Similarly, y of n when n is equal to minus two, the value that that same as y of minus two. So this is x of minus n when n is equal to minus 2. So that's x of minus minus 2. So that's x of plus 2, x of plus 2 is 2. All right. So now y of minus 3, y of minus 4, so on. These values are also equal to 0. So our sequence is y of n, which is same as x of minus n. And this is mm, the values of this sequence are, what are the values here? Uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 
one in one and for negative values of time this is mine this is the story one this is one and two so let's redraw the sequences let's draw the sequence let me draw it here and let me draw y of n here all right so this is my y of n which is same as x of nine so, so value of the sequence at n equal to zero is zero you can check it this is n equal to zero point and value of y of n at n equal to one is one value of this y of n at n equal to two is zero and the rest of one and the rest of the samples are zero for positive values of n similarly value of this sequence at n equal to minus one is one and the value of the sequence at n equal to minus two is two and the rest of the samples are zero now compare the sequence x of n and y of m which is same as x of minus n see the value that was on for minus when n is equal to minus one gets reflected to the value when n is equal to plus one similarly the value that is true for n equal to uh, when n is equal to two the value gets reflected towards when n is equal to minus two that's why it gets shifted or sorry not shifted it gets reflected on the negative side meaning the positive values get reflected on the negative side for the same identical values of n minus part the value that was true for n equal to one is true for in x of minus n when n is equal to minus one you can check it so the values get reflected on the negative side similarly the positive that are true for the negative values of time get reflected on the positive side so that's why this operation is also referred as reflection operation or folding operation you are folding the signal across this amplitude axis or y axis so we call it y axis and this is in signal which is referred as amplitude axis so the signals get folded across this amplitude axis so the signals get folded when you put n when you replace n by minus n that's referred as a time reverse operation the signal gets folded across this amplitude axis the negative values reflect on positive side and the values that were true for the positive side get reflected okay. towards this this negative side all right now time reversal is a very important preliminary operation when computing the correlation of the signal now remember the uh, sorry the application let me discuss this thing the applications of this time reversal so this is a uh, important preliminary operation when we when computing the convolution of signals what we do in convolution actually so when performing the convolution of signals what we do we keep one signal fixed we keep the signal one signal we keep fixed what we do we fold the other signal the convolution operation that is uh, that we perform between two signals what we do we keep one signal fixed and uh, fold the other signal and what we do um, that's also taken uh, that's, that's also said as mirror image take the mirror image of the other sequence and slide that folded our mirror image signal across this fixed signal and obtain this convolution operation so therefore this is a very useful operation in this discrete time signal processing discrete times discrete time system theory rather than this is a very very important for discrete time system theory how do you obtain the output of a system now, this is very very important operation and you know the out uh, we shall see in the later classes that the output of of a discrete time system can be obtained by taking the convolution of some signal what are those signals we shall learn in the future classes so so convolution operation is a very important preliminary operation for discrete time system theory and especially in image processing applications and in image processing applications what are the uses of this uh, this is very important this form is a very important application in edge detection if we want to detect the edges of images this is very very important for that those applications all right let's stop here